setting up the Netgear modem. Once all connected, wait for the three green lights to come on on the front. First one shows you power. Second one shows you internet connection. Third one shows you that you're connected to the computer. On the back, turn this round. You have the power lead, you have the ethernet lead, and then just below that <coughs> is the RJ11, which goes to your phone socket. And there is the power on button. To access the modem, you tap in uh, www routerlogin.net that then brings you to this setup page you then change uh, this to the country that you're in and there we go UK and as you can see that now brings up UK service providers and there's your service providers Plus Net Sky, Talk Talk, Virgin Media, and uh, others. I used to use this on Plus Net. So, just for the demonstration, I'm going to choose Plus Net. Um, right, sorry about that. <clears throat> Once. Um, you selected everything you select for the wizard to set up um this will take a little while because it has to scan all the ports and etc or you can choose manual setup uh where you just enter all your own details while it's doing that the lights will change color particularly the internet one this one should always be green for power this one, while it's doing the setup, will flash orange and then will go green. And this one will flash on and off because that just shows that you're talking between the computer and the modem. Right, once you're at that stage, um, it will then, once it's scanned all the ports and detected that you're using PPPOA, uh, which is standard uh, if you're not on cable. Um, you, this is where you put in your username and password. Now this, as you can see from this message here, your username might be your full ISP email address. Might be. With Plusnet, it is... With BT, it isn't. You have to contact BT and ask them what it is. Uh, but they're very good BT, and if you tell them that you're setting up your own equipment uh, to use your own modem and router, they will give you the um, username and password. Uh, as for other companies, you'd have to contact them and ask them. But Plusnet usually is your email address and your password so once you put them in once you put them in you click next and that's where it's applying the correct information if you do not put the correct information in it will not work this does take a little while, and as you can see, it's still applying. The screen may go blank and then reappear. Don't worry, that's normal. That is now connected to the internet. All settings correct, so then you click Next. Once you click Next, it asks if you want to download the Genie app. Uh, I would recommend Yes for this. So leave it ticked, then click Next. This will take a little while because this is still on my old dial-up service. The contract hasn't ended yet, but when it does, I'll be getting rid of it. 
Right, once that's downloaded, you may get this screen up on the new Windows, uh, what do you call it, Edge, if you use Edge, that is. Um, that's quite normal, and just, just tell it to run. And it's basically, it's the software's downloaded, so we're just going to say, yeah, run it and all that. Obviously, accept and next with everything that comes up and install. Next and finish. <clears throat> Then we get this screen up. Um, just click next on this. Not sure if we still need that or not, because we've got the genie up now. So in, in here, um, obviously it will say no Wi-Fi because it's not, it's not a router, it's just a modem. It does say router settings because I know it sounds daft. When it's in router mode, it's only a modem, but obviously you've still got one connection out, which is to the PC. So it's sort of saying a router, but it's not really a router, it is a modem. Uh, it tells me the internet's good. Um, you have all these settings here. Um, it's all connected. So there's your computer, there's your modem, and there's your internet. And that, <clears throat> just move my glasses out of the way there. Um, log back in using www. Oh God, what was it now? Routerlogin.net. That takes you then to this screen and it will show uh, Netgear Router DM200. What you need to do then, if you're not going to use, uh, if you're going to use your own router, is you need to come down to advanced settings and then go to device mode. From that over here, now I know that says modem, uh, modem router, but if you're gonna use your own router connected to the modem, you go down to modem only. I won't do it. Um, well, actually, I can put in just modem only. The apply, I was looking down the bottom. You need to apply. That then converts it so it is just a modem with no connection to it. So, therefore, you would need to connect your router. But if you've not got a router at the moment and you still want to use the internet via the one port, then leave it in the mode of router mode. Hopefully, that helps. I'm not sure how savvy you are with computers. I'm still learning my way around, but hopefully this will help you out. Okay, Ruth, see you later. Hi, Ruth. Okay, so there's the first modem, all the instruction booklets, power cable, ethernet cable. Um, under here is uh, some filters for all different countries, including the UK. And this side, there is um, a power cable for, for abroad, plus the um, cable that you need to plug into the uh, phone socket. So that's that one. Then number two is here. Again, instruction booklet, modem, power lead. Um, connections, you know, filters and that. Um, the lead there. 
uh, for the phone, phone socket. The only thing I can't see in this one is an Ethernet cable. Uh, let me just grab This one. is a brand new Cat 7. I'll include that in the box. Um, not sure if I put that in very well, but there you go. That's the both of them. Hopefully that helps. Thank you.